Coming up on ViewCast, Vanderbilt researchers fight to prevent the next pandemic. How stars can help solve some mysteries of the universe. And what is this strange looking person doing with a V on his chest? Hi, I'm Carol Bartu. Vanderbilt University medical researchers are once again part of the nationwide fight to prevent a possible flu pandemic. There is a new deadly bird flu strain called H7N9 that started in eastern China. Like a 911 center for pandemic concerns, Vanderbilt's Vaccine Treatment and Evaluation Unit was ready for the call that came into Catherine Edwards' office on August 30th. At the minute that though it was clear that, that we would need to test those vaccines, then the NIH called us, the National Institute of Health called us, and said, we want you to begin to prepare to evaluate these strains. Along with seven other national units, they have been activated to prepare to test a vaccine against the H7N9 influenza in a thousand healthy adults, much like they were called on to do during the H1N1 pandemic of 2009. We do this in a very serious and a very extensive way. The difference about H7N9 is a bit of good and bad news. The good news, once poultry markets were closed in the spring, the outbreak quickly subsided and there has been only one confirmed person-to-person -person transmission. The bad news is H7N9 does not make birds ill and so it could spread widely in birds. Even worse, it has a high mortality rate of 30% so far. If we have a pandemic where 30% of the people die, I mean, that would be horrible. It would make the, pan the previous 1918 pandemic look like a, a Sunday school picnic. I mean, because of the severity of the disease and the mortality. So that's what we're trying to combat. So the stakes are high. Edwards says she hopes Middle Tennesseans will watch for recruitment to begin and will be willing to roll up their sleeves for the study later on this fall and winter. While we don't have to worry about the H7N9 strain yet in this country, we still need to protect ourselves against the flu strains that are already out there. Our own Dr. William Schaffner is already making national TV rounds, including CBS This Morning, discussing the importance of getting that flu shot. We start vaccinating after Labor Day. We really take off toward the end of the month, but it's wise to plan ahead. Vanderbilt faculty, students, and staff can get their shots free at Flulapalooza September 25th. It's backed by popular demand. You might remember that Vanderbilt broke the Guinness World Record for most vaccinations in an eight-hour period two years ago at the first Flulapalooza. More than 12,000 shots were given. From medicine to the mysteries of our universe, we are fascinated by those galaxies far, far away filled with stars of wonder and magical planets. But thanks to a discovery by Vanderbilt researchers, measuring a star's surface gravity in a simple, easy way is accurately answering some of the questions we have about planets. The reason this is so important for exoplanet science is that whenever we discover a planet around another star, everything that we, that we can measure about the planet is actually measured in relation to the star that it's orbiting. So when I, when I first saw this, I wasn't exactly sure what this meant. I realized that... Physics and astronomy grad student Fabian Bastian and Professor Kayvon Stossen's findings were published in Nature. The Fisk Vanderbilt Bridge Program grad student was working on her dissertation when she stumbled onto some interesting data. So what I was trying to do was to understand a pattern that we were seeing in my data in which we expect that the surface magnetic field strength of a star correlates with, correlates with the way that it varies, its brightness varies. And we were seeing a pattern in our data that we did not understand. Here we have a graduate student performing dissertation research. Uh, and together, we used a data visualization tool uh, that, that was developed by other members of my team. And we came across this very unexpected 
but incredibly useful and important discovery. And that Vanderbilt discovery, a simple method for measuring the surface gravity of a star, is two times more accurate than the current, more expensive data collection method. For more information on this discovery, go to the Research News website and type in stars flickering. Quick view. Behold, who is this person, complete with a Vandy V sitting on top of this fearless monster? Well, it's just another clever cover from our folks at Vanderbilt Magazine. These two are working together to conquer the video gaming business. Of course, it seems we have a lot of Vanderbilt alums who are big successes in the video gaming industry. You can read all about it online at news.vanderbilt.edu slash Vanderbilt Magazine. This man is a rarity in today's world of constantly changing jobs and careers. Meet Sam Hurt, a Vanderbilt institution who retired after 50 years. Yes, that's right, 50 years of service as director of campus recreation. One job, one employer. Uh, when you're busy and you love your work, I love coming to work every day. Uh, time just goes, it just flies by. Now that is well worth four Commodores. For ViewCast, I'm Carol Barty.